Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to The Fort Report. So this week I'm here with Jay Downey and he is the producer of the Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival. And Jay, for those of us who have never been a part of the event or actually have no information about it, can you please tell us about it and why it's so awesome? You know, if I had an elevator speech that could encapsulate the festival in less than 30 seconds, I'd love to do it, but there's so much to offer. The Main Street Fort Worth Arts Festival is a four-day event, starts on April the 19th, goes all the way through the 22nd. We have 225 of the nation's finest artists who will be here on the streets and each artist represents their finest work. So consider it just one large shopping experience, if you will. The other component of the Arts Festival that makes it so unique is uh, the music component with uh, Steve Warner uh, performing, Railroad Earth is performing, uh, we've got the Texas Tornadoes. So a real name live entertainment uh, experience as well over the course of the four days, in addition to all the work that the artists sell, we do about $30 million worth of economic impact for the community. So the artists themselves, they want to be here. So there's 1,500 to apply and only 225 are selected. So I hear there's an app for the Main Street Arts Festival. What is that about? We have an iPhone app and the current edition has a couple of neat things in it. One of them is um, a complete schedule. It's real interactive. But then the other is the ability to actually scan the artists, look at the artists, and then assign a favorite right there on your phone cool. so that you can guide yourself all the way through the, uh, the event. Can you tell us anything that's new, that's different from last year? We've got a uh, paint your own canvas uh, program. You'll be able to join an artist in a session and be able to paint your own canvas and share a glass of wine times 10 cellars is uh, wine so you'll be able to sit down and kind of enjoy that. Um, we've got a lot of great uh, street performers this year that are just fantastic. And then the Main Street Creates area, which is our kids area, we've expanded that dramatically. We've got a number of great new activities up there. And one other thing, we've got a art contest that the uh, Trinity River Vision Authority is doing. These sculptures are made of styrofoam by uh, three different colleges. And then ultimately they're going into the Trinity River. So it all will be um, judged here. Jay, thank you so much for giving us this inside look of the Main Street Arts Festival. There's so much to do, so I encourage anyone who wants to know more about it or what fun things your families can do, um, please go to the city's website or the website that's on the screen 